Hello YouTubers and welcome to another DIY Dan Cars video and today I'm going to be swapping out my winch cable on my Can-Am 850 XMR with a synthetic cable. So how did this cable get destroyed? You're probably wondering. As you can see it's all screwed up. Actually it snapped right here. Not a whole lot left. And the reason why it snapped is because I was using it in a manner that it wasn't designed to be used for, and that is pulling out stumps. I didn't really care much about this, this cable, so I went ahead and destroyed it anyways because I knew I was gonna replace it with the synthetic rope. But let me tell you, this Can-Am winch does a great job of pulling out stumps up to about 10 inches in diameter. Once you get above that, well, that's what happens. The cable breaks. So as you can see, it's helped me pull out quite a few stumps. Actually, one of the big ones actually under here is the one that it broke on i'm trying to burn this the remaining stump that's left but uh, that stump right there is roughly about 15 inches in diameter and snap it went so i'm gonna go ahead and get this uh this swapped out it should be easy because i got my my kitty shorts on which should help make this job go much smoother so let's get started so I've never changed out one of these winch cables before. So it's gonna be a bit of a learning curve for me. And I'm sure there's a hundred different ways you can do it. But this is the way I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start off by raising the Can-Am. I'm gonna take off the front tire so that way I have easy access to the winch. And then uh, I'll go from there. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start removing this fair lead. Well, this cable's so screwed up, it won't even unwind from the, the winch with the clutch disengaged, so we're going to do it the, uh, the easy way. I'm just going to tie this cable up to the stump over there, disengage the clutch, and give it the beans. As you can tell, I, I just don't care, so if it damages the, uh, the cable or the winch, don't care. I'll just buy a new one. Well guys, as you can see, my cable was heavily damaged and frayed and was unwilling to freewheel. So I had no other choice but to use brute force and horsepower to get that cable removed. So now that that worked, the next step is to remove the cable from the drum. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these two T40 Torx bolts down here. Got the T40 bolts removed and now it's giving me access to the four bolts that hold the winch to the frame. I don't know if you can see them but there's four of them right there. 
So the next thing I need to do is actually remove the power and ground from the uh, from the winch itself. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the battery just to be on the safe side. Now I have the power cables removed from the winch itself. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the winch from the frame and all you need is a T40 Torx and a ratchet. So now that the winch is out, I'm now ready to undo this Allen screw, which will allow me to remove the steel cable from the drum. It's a 2.5 Allen. So now I'm ready to install my new winch rope. This is actually the synthetic rope that I bought. I bought this off Amazon. It's a quarter inch in thickness. I think the rated capacity is a bit over 8,000 pounds, if I remember right, somewhere around there. Um, but after doing some research on the internet, a lot of guys that have installed quarter inch rope that's 50 foot in length say they can't fit the full 50 feet on a 3,500 pound winch drum. What they recommend doing is removing 10 feet from the 50 foot spool so that way you can fit the entire 40 foot length of rope on your winch drum. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go ahead and lay this rope out and cut off 10 feet of it and then shrink wrap the end of it so it will fit through the hole on my winch drum here. So I tried cutting that synthetic rope with a pair of scissors. That wasn't working. So I tried a set of dykes. Yeah, that wasn't working either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Dremel tool with a cutting disc on it. That should uh, have no problem cutting that rope. There we go.
Well, as you guys saw, I had no problems uh, getting my quarter inch cable through the hole on the winch drum. I know some guys on the internet, they've had issues um, getting their quarter inch cable through the winch drum, but I had no issues with mine. It went through nice and smooth, no problems at all. So if you guys would like to purchase the same uh, synthetic rope that I did, I'll leave a link in the description. So the next step that I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and mount this winch back to the frame and then uh, button everything back up. So now I'm ready to connect the power cables again. And the nice thing about Can-Am, if you have a factory installed winch, is that they label them so that way you can't reverse them by accident. So mine has a blue uh, tape on it right here. That corresponds with the blue uh, washer or spacer right here on the winch. So I know exactly where it needs to go. Now I'm at the part to reinstall the uh, T40 Torx bolts that hold on this plastic cover on the bottom. So now I'm at the part to install my new fair lead and when you use synthetic rope they recommend that you use this kind of fair lead instead of the roller type. I got this on Amazon. I think it was a few bucks. It wasn't very expensive. I'll leave a link in the description if you'd like to buy one as well. All right guys, coming down the home stretch, all that's left to do is reconnect the battery to the negative terminal, reinstall the wheel, and winch in the new cable. Okay, just one last thing to do, reinstall my rubber bumper and my hook. Now I'm ready to winch in the new cable into the drum. And how I'm gonna do that is, is I'm gonna strap the winch cable to that tree, and then I'm gonna put my Can-Am in neutral, and then I'm gonna winch it in.
And that's how I changed out my winch cable on my Can-Am 850XMR. I know some of you guys are going to ask, how difficult was it to do this? Well, if you're a beginner mechanic, by beginner I mean someone who can change their own oil, change spark plugs, change a tire, then you should have no problem doing this job on your Can-Am. I thought it was rather easy, but you know, if you are new, take your time, review the video that I just made, and hopefully that will help you get through it. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. So long and happy wrenching.